Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, we are going to learn how to use different audio options in a chatbot response to make it more realistic. Let's see what will be the output of this um, tutorial. Hey Google, talk to my test app. Sure, here's the test version of my test app. Good day. Test music one. Test delay. Let me take a break for three seconds. I am back again. Stop. So this is what we are going to do. We will see what all different options are available so that our audio response should look more realistic. So for this tutorial, I have created an agent named audio. Within audio, there is one intent test audio options and I have created a custom entity also which is known as audio sample if you click it you will be able to see that these are the different options available music one delay cardinal and these are the possible values for different options so for the time being I am keeping the same value associated if you go back to intents you will be able to see how to use it open this test audio options Within test audio options, you can see that we are expecting that user is going to say test something. The something is basically dynamic and I have associated this something with my custom entity. How to do that? If you want to learn, let me remove it first. Okay. And let's say something once again, and then you double tap it. Then you will be able to find, um, say at the rate audio sample okay so you can search for your own entity so i'm going to do that now you can see that it is associated with my custom entity okay let's save it now let's go to the fulfillment section and you can see that i have already associated a webhook for this example if you do not know how to use a webhook how to create a webhook in node.js then you can click on the link which is displayed on the top to actually learn how to integrate node.js webhook with your chatbot so i'm not going into detail so i can just show you that this um, this webhook is already created and is integrated with this application so i can show you uh, so here we are in this repository i have created an index.js file and within index.js file you can see that i have created an api audio api so there is basically a switch case statement so whatever user is saying whatever user is saying say let me go back to my test audio options so whatever user is saying test something this something is basically dynamic this will be sent to my api and then a relevant case will be executed okay let's test this application now so let's go back here to the integration section let's click the google assistant and let's test it and let's open the action simulator here we are let's reduce the size a bit and let me do a little bit of customization so that we can have a better view okay let's test it now so let's start it talk to my test app sure here's the test version of my test app okay. greetings test music one So this is a response audio source and source should be on an HTTPS location. If the music is not available, then it will say did not get your file. Okay, let's test the next option. Test music two. So in this case, what we did, we started the clip from the first second and end it at third second. So this is what we did here. This is the next one, music three, test music three. So it is repeated twice and its sound level has been decreased by 15 decibels. Next, let's say music four, test. Music 4. 
so we increase the speed using this attribute speed 200 percent next let's try this one this is little interesting test music file did not get your audio file did not get your audio files whereas we do have the same audio link in the source so why is it not working it's not working because the audio is supposed to be wrapped in this tag speak tag so all ssml responses are supposed to be wrapped in speak tag okay let's move to the next one test delay let me take a break for three seconds i am back again so if you insert this break time three seconds then it will pause for three seconds and then it will start speaking again so to know the more options available you can go to this link and then you can use more options in your audio next cardinal let's test cardinal 12345 so it is speaking the number as number not as one two three four five let's now talk about the ordinal test ordinal i stood 10th in the class exams so our input was i stood 10 in class exam and it converted it to i stood 10th in the class exam very nice let's test characters test characters hello is spelled as h-e-l-l-o hello is spelled as h-e-l-l-o so for all these options if you have Notice that there is one more tag that we are using which is called say as so when we say say as Then you have to pass another attribute interpret as and within interpret as either you can say ordinal cardinal or characters and there are more options that we are going to see Very soon. Okay, let's test this one test fraction Rather than saying 24 plus 3 quarters, I should say 24 and 3 quarters. Okay, so say as interpret as fraction. So 24 plus 3 by 4 is read like this. Let's listen it once again. Rather than saying 24 plus 3 quarters, I should say 24 and 3 quarters. Cool, very nice. Let's go to bleep. So this one is not working i am trying a lot but this one is not working but it is supposed to actually um do not say a few words and should play a bleep basically but it's not working i have tested it many I do times i not want to say f and percent dollar hash word so i need to figure out why it's not working probably there is something wrong so okay let's move to the next one test unit this road is 50 feet wide I deliberately wrote it 50 foot and then told it that you have to interpret it as unit so it said the road is 50 feet wide let's move to the next one verbatim so this is quite similar to what we have earlier in test uh, characters just verbatim you spell hello is h-e-l-l-o so next is date Okay, let's try to test date test date one today is the 16th of december 2017 so now we are saying that you have to interpret it as a date and its format is yyyymmdd and this is the date that i have passed so it is reading it as today is the 16th of december 2017 so we have different options available for date as well so let's test this one day two today is the 16th of december so i just passed 16 hyphen 12 and i mentioned that it is a date format in this format dm let's listen it once again today is the 16th of december nice let's go to third format which is available for date Today is the 16th of December 2017. So DMY DMY. Okay, next time. Let's test time. It is 2.30 p.m. now. 
it's 2 30 p.m. now it's not saying it is 2 colon 3 0 p.m. now it's saying it's 2 30 p.m. now so there are more options available so you can go to the uh, Google Actions site and then you can find out what all different options are available uh, now let's test this telephone one test telephone one plus nine one nine oh one two three four five six seven eight okay so it's saying plus nine one so if you say interpret as telephone and then in format you write a number that code is considered as a country code basically so that's why it is saying plus nine one and then considering this as a number let's test it once again plus nine one nine oh one two three four five six seven eight now let's test this one as well plus one seven eight one seven seven one seven 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 so if you want to learn more about telephone then you can go to this link and then you can see what all different options are available let's try the last one test alternate IPL stands for Indian Premier League so this is basically to replace an abbreviation with its full form so in this case an abbreviation is not called only as abbreviation but in its full form so imagine you have uh, multiple instances of an abbreviation in your text in your speech and you don't want it to call as abbreviation but as the full form so with minor code changes you can actually replace all those instances with something like this so this was all about the different audio options that you can use in the chatbot response if you like my video please subscribe my channel bye bye